today we're going to talk about the little acts of decluttering for August. Hello, my name's Rachel, I do videos about decluttering, minimalism and my name's Ben Gier. And today we're going to do the little acts of decluttering for August. If you don't know already, the idea of the little acts of decluttering is that each day you do a small area around your home, you declutter what you can in that area, either donating, selling or putting in the bin, depending on what it is. And through this you start creating a little decluttering habit in which you start decluttering different areas of your home over time and that all the little acts of decluttering will add up to a bigger change within your home. So hopefully this will help you cover lots of different areas this month for August and they are a great way of making it manageable when you have a busy life and you just need to get going with decluttering but don't know where to start. For those who don't know, I do a PDF calendar on my website declutteryourlife.co.uk which you can download for free for August and it will tell you all the little acts of decluttering that I'm about to go through so you can print it off, you can tick things off as you go through the month and know that you're achieving each area. August is a pretty long month, we've got 31 days to get through so let's get straight into it. And obviously I have got a book that accompanies all the different areas and talks you through decluttering strategies etc called The Little Acts of Decluttering which is available on Amazon um, so if you want that one go and check it out it's available paperback, hardback and on Kindle so you can have it however you wish and it just goes through all the different strategies, challenges and then all of the little acts of decluttering that I cover in here as well as checklists at the end of each area so you can tick things off as you do them so it's a great little guide to decluttering your home Okay, so let's get started with August. For the 1st of August, you need to clear the kitchen side of clutter. Any appliances that you're no longer using, can you donate or sell them? Or can you put them in the cupboard if they're ones that you don't use as often? Only keep the essentials on the kitchen side. Make sure it's cleared on a regular basis so that it's easy to keep clean and tidy. For the 2nd of August, go through your TV recordings. Are there any shows on there that you have already watched now that you don't need to keep? you could declutter from that so that you've got a nice simple view of only the things that you need to keep when you go into your TV recordings. For the 3rd of August, check through your food cupboards for expired food. Do you have anything that is past its date that is no longer suitable or have you got anything that is close to its date that you could then use up? So it's good to go through this on a regular basis. I tend to do a shelf at a time when I'm cooking so that I am able to keep on top of it and it just means that I'm checking over and putting the older stuff at the front and newer stuff at the back so I keep rotating things and using them up. For the fourth of the month, can you go through any watches that you might have? I know some people like to collect watches and have um, more than they need because they like different ones for different occasions but myself I just have one watch. I do actually have a spare one which is exactly the same as the one that I've got on because I bought, them by, bought it by accident um, because I didn't realise I was bidding on two at the same time. Rookie error. But go through your collection, have you got any that are similar that you can reduce down? These are great items that you can sell on to earn some extra money if that's what you're looking to do right now. So go through your collection and see if you can reduce it down. For the 5th of August, can you go through your apps on your phone? Are there any apps that you no longer use or don't really use that often? Are they ones that you only use maybe a couple of times a year? Could you delete them and then just install them as and when you need them for like tickets, etc.? Go through, get rid of anything that you're not really using. For the 6th of August, can you go through your books? I know for many this can be a really big job, so if it's a bigger collection of books that you have, then could you go through just a couple of shelves or one section? See if there are any books that you have read that you are unlikely to read again or you don't really want to keep. Could you donate these or sell them on? And don't forget any donations that you have for books. Lots of places around the world have little libraries where you can donate books um, for other people to use for free. For the 7th of August, can you go through your key rings? Are you somebody that has a big collection of key rings next to your car keys? It's really big and clunky. Can you reduce down some of them? Are they any really broken? Do you need to keep all of them? Go through them regularly and reduce down what you have. For the 8th of August, can you get rid of any paper utility bills? 
Do you need to keep hold of them? Can you download them digitally so you can store them digitally so you don't have to have to pay for copy and cut down any unnecessary bills as well so you only have the essentials that you're paying for. For the 9th of August, can you go through your junk drawer? Most people have a junk drawer in their home. It could be in the kitchen, it could be in the dining room table, a dining room drawer or cabinet. Go through your junk drawer and see if you can find any items that don't need to be there or can you find anything a new home so you can free up some space for the things that you use on a regular basis. For the 10th of August, could you go through a box of items within your home? You might have a box under the bed, in the garage or in the attic. Can you go through that box and see if you can reduce down what you have? Is there anything that you could sell or anything you could donate or anything to recycle? The 11th of August, can you make sure that the dining table is clear of clutter? It's one of those easy traps of places where things just accumulate because you just kind of put them on the side and think, oh, I'll deal with that later, and then it just builds up. Make sure that you go through that on a regular basis. I do try and cover that one probably once a month because it is one of those high traffic areas. So just make sure that you're regularly clearing the surface so that you can use the dining table for eating or crafting, etc. For the 12th of August, can you set a 15 minute timer so that you can do a section of your home and reduce down what you have? Go through, see if there's anything you could donate or sell, anything that's broken or any rubbish. Go through it and see if you can improve the visual clutter within that area. For the 13th of August, can you go through children's toys? This is another one that you could do on a regular basis. I usually try and get rid of items as soon as they break or as soon as I realise that they're not playing with them. So that is one to go through on a regular basis. You could rotate toys to see if that helps with reducing down the visual clutter of having toys out all of the time. But regularly go through children's toys and get rid of anything that's not age appropriate anymore, that they've outgrown, so that you can free up space for other things, or just free up space. For the 14th of August, can you get rid of any old charges that you have? If they're really old and you don't know what they go with, then they may not be safe to use anymore. We've got to be careful with electrical items that you're not keeping things that you don't need to keep because they might end up becoming faulty or damaged. So it is good to make sure that the charges you keep are ones that are used with your items regularly and if they're not fitting any of the items, dispose of them safely at a recycle centre. For the 15th of August, can you go through any old cameras that you might have? Do you have any that are kind of outdated? Have you got a newer one and you no longer use the old one? These are great items to donate or sell because that could help earn some extra money for you. It's good to go through old devices like cameras regularly so that you can get the most money if you sell it as soon as you know that you're not going to use it anymore. For the 16th of August, can you get rid of any coupons by using up any coupons or gift cards that you have been given? It's good to make sure that you are regularly checking that you're using up the balance rather than letting them sit there and expire. So treat yourself to something using your gift cards and try and save some money using your coupons. For the 17th of August, can you go through bed sheet? There's a bit of a debate about how many you should have. I know some people like seasonal ones, but I tend to have one that's on and then one that's in the cupboard spare so that I'm able to rotate. I know it's slightly different with children because they are more prone to have accidents, etc., or illness. So you may want to have a couple spare, but generally you don't need to have a stash of spare bed sheets. For the 18th of August, can you go through any plastic bags or carrier bags that you might have or bags for life? Do you need to keep all of them? I tend to have some really good proper sturdy bags for my food shop and I use the same three bags every time I go and they will keep going until they stop breaking and then I'll just replace that one bag as they break. Rather than having the thin little plastic bags that kind of break easily, you could use them for bin liners to help use them up so that you're not wasting them or just throwing them away for no reason. Then you can reduce down what you have. I know I used to have a huge collection of plastic bags and it just seems like madness that I was carrying around these bags all the time and didn't really need them. For the 19th of August, can you get rid of any clothes that you haven't worn in the last 12 months? Be realistic about what you use in your wardrobe. If you find it difficult to work it out, I would turn the hangers the wrong way round and every time you use an item, put it back in the right way and then after the 12 months, you will know what items you are not using on a regular basis. That will help you within the main wardrobe. But it's good to go through and just rethink 
at the end of each season whether or not you've really used it so that you can keep your wardrobe relevant with all the things that you really love. For the 20th of August can you find 20 items to declutter from your home? It's quite a big number for some people, I think people find that number overwhelming but actually if you go to a high traffic area like a bookshelf you could probably find 20 books or if you go to stationery you could probably find 20 pens or pencils or rulers that you don't really need. So think about areas where there are small little items that you could declutter. For the 21st of August, can you go through any organising products that you have? As you start decluttering, you'll find that you come across more storage organisers or products that you don't really need anymore because you don't have the stuff that you used to use to fill it. You'll realise that you don't have the stuff that you used to have that would fill those organisers. So see whether or not you really need them and see if you can donate or sell them. For the 22nd of August, can you go through your makeup collection? Reduce down what you have, keep the bare essentials. I've got a video that I have done about a minimalist makeup collection. So think about how you can reduce that down so you just keep the essentials and then it'll be easier to keep on top of things rather than having lots of products you don't really use. For the 21st of August, can you find a surface to clear? The clearer surface, it could be a windowsill, it could be the dining table, it could be the kitchen side or the coffee table. Find the surface and just clear it of clutter and see if you can find everything at home. For the 24th of August, can you find yourself a declutter buddy that can help you to get motivated and to share your progress with? It's a great way of keeping motivated and keeping going with decluttering. So find something that's on the, the similar path that's like minded to you with regards to clutter that wants to make a difference within their home and you can work together to keep motivated. For the 25th of August, can you find a full drawer that you can reduce down so that it's able to close more easily? So if you have a drawer full of t-shirts that is rammed to the edge, can you find a way of reducing it down so that it closes nice and clearly? So reduce enough down to make that drawer easy to close. For the 26th of August, can you find 15 items to declutter your home so that you can reduce down a bigger area? So think about whatever you might want to do for this one. It could be that you do another surface, it could be you go through ornaments or gadgets, it could be that you go through electrical cables. Find 15 items that you can declutter. For the 27th of August, can you go under the bed and find something to declutter? It could be that you go through a box that's under the bed or anything that is being stored there and reduce down what you have. For the 28th of August, can you go through towels and face cloths? Be realistic about how many you use within a week, within each wash cycle, and just keep the amount that's essential for you and your family members. Do you need to have excess or do you need to reduce down what you have? For the 29th of August, go through your cleaning products. Can you start using things up so you don't have such a big collection and avoid stockpiling? so that you can have a nice streamlined collection of cleaning products that you know that you're going to use on a regular basis. Get rid of anything that has a scent or that you don't like using immediately because they're not really going to be used up. For the 30th of August, can you go through duplicate photos? This could be on your phone, it could be physical photos. See if you can go through that on a regular basis. I tend to do that on my phone quite regularly. Just reflect on the day or reflect on the week and just reduce down any that are like blurry or exactly the same so that I don't have too much storage being used up on my phone. And for the 31st of August, can you go through children's clothes? I tend to do this at the end of summer, so this is probably the time to do it. And I do it at the end of winter because they are the key kind of change of seasons. Um, it's good to reflect on what they've outgrown and know that you are regularly going through it because they grow so quickly. So there are 31 little acts of decluttering that you can do for August to get decluttering around your home. And don't forget you can check out my book on Amazon if you want to and also if you want help motivating. I've also got the planner that gives you a little way of planning out your day if you want to do a big declutter in that like a diary form. And I've also got goal planner so you can decide what your decluttering goals are and there are some checklists in there as well. And there's also a notes section. Let me know if you're decluttering as well in the comments below and how you're getting on with that, if you found any of the books helpful and which areas you found most challenging as well. I should be back for more videos on decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year soon. 
take care bye